A 3D map of universe may open a window to dark energy. Let's know about Daisy. Also, what should be the healthcare promise by the government? Let's understand from an expert. And finally, what is the Akash Teer system that you should know? Hello everyone, I am Manish Shrivastav and I'm here with the three must reads from the Indian Express today. Aaj ki tariq hai, 5th of April, April 5th. Or jaise ki, when you open the newspaper, the Indian Express, the Indian Express as a textbook for your current affairs, for your competitive examination at any stage provides very knowledge enriching articles for your prelims based exam or your mains exam or any other stage of the examination. Now, before I go ahead, just a reminder that uh, Monday to Friday, UPSC section of the Indian Express does a UPSC key, which not only gives you, you know, coverage of all the important articles from your exams point of view but tells you how to read what to read sometime beyond the headline to go back to points to ponder and you know mcqs or maybe some other related important articles ke clues so do you know subscribe for it read and make the best use of it now my first read from today the first pick comes from not from the explained not from the editorial, not even from the front page. It comes from Expert Network and it's written by uh, Amitabh Sinha, one of our experts on science, tech and environment climate. So he picks up this very important information about uh, Desi. Okay, and the article is 3D map of universe may open a window to dark energy. If you read the excerpt, you get the context. It says researchers, including team from India, publish finding based on observation by dark energy spectroscopic instrument so not only this instrument's name is important which is dark energy spectroscopic instrument which is a you know short form is desi but also there's a desi connect and when i say that i mean that india uh, and the researchers from india the scientists from india are also a part of it just uh, just to begin uh, get the context right the first paragraph an international team of researchers has just released the most comprehensive three-dimensional map of the universe, which scientists hope could reveal some clues about dark energy, the mysterious force that is believed to be causing the universe to expand uncontrollably. Now, pehla jo paragraph hai, wo context bata deta hai. Now, it's important for various reasons. First, uh, you get to know about this Desi telescope, of course. But the major reason is the dark energy. Okay, so uh, there are questions in this article. Se ban sakte hai, actually, now uh, the scientists say that you know they have a catalog of tens and billions of uh, you know uh, uh, these uh, uh, celestial bodies, these stars, and everything. But what is the difficulty? Is to know the distance between these galaxies, and it is very crucial to know the distance believed the, in the galaxies because the universe is expanding and the to know the rate at which the universe is expanding you need to know the accurate almost accurate distance between the galaxies now since they know they they know what are the stars what are the other celestial bodies in the universe and everything we need some instrument which can help you calculate that now it is also known as a 3d dimension they are saying it 3d dimension simply because it will help in knowing the distance between the galaxies and therefore you need 3d calculation there okay so that is very important and then the focus on dark energy okay so when you will get to know the distance and why and how it is expanding you will be able to know about dark energy which supposedly makes 70 percent of or almost 70 percent of the universe but you have very little knowledge about it okay now before i go to paragraph just a simple understanding that we know about the gravitational pull which is there and which pulls things together or bring things closer but on the other side the universe or the galaxies are you know this expansion is there okay so these two things are very opposite to each other and therefore uh, 
to you know name that kind of those gaps they name it, it as a dark energy but very little is known about it now let me come to the paragraph and you'll understand so this paragraph which is almost the fifth paragraph says the hypothesis of dark energy comes mainly from the observed phenomena of the universe expanding at a rapid rate exactly the point which i was saying the vast empty spaces between stars and galaxy have been measured to be expanding at an accelerating pace despite the countervailing force of gravitation that has the effect of pulling things together and scientists have been unable to find any explanation for this rapid expansion and have been forced to hypothesis that there must be some dark energy causing the expansion now why do you need to understand this dark energy uska jo next paragraph it clearly explains it says understanding the nature of dark energy is one of the fundamental problems in the science right now because it can offer key insights into the origin and evolution of the universe as well as its eventual fate it can reveal new fundamental forces at work and could unravel our entire knowledge edge knowledge of the physical world the problem is that so far scientists have not been able to figure out even the first piece of the puzzle so you understand that this is the reason why you need to know about uh, dark energy okay and finally as i said there is a desi connect to it because from india ti tifr is the only participating in इंस्टीट्यूशन विच इज यू नो टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च तो ये पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स एंड ऑल्सो फॉर योर यू नो एडवांस नॉलेज यू शुड नो अबाउट देसी एंड विद वॉट रिलेशन इज इट बींग यूज इज इंडिया पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन इट और नॉट एंड ऑफकोर्स अबाउट डार्क एनर्जी नाउ माई सेकेंड पिक दिस इज द फर्स्ट पिक रेलिवेंट फॉर साइंस नाउ द सेकेंड पिक इज फॉर the health sector okay and when i come to the second pick i'm talking about the idea space when you go to the idea space there is this very important uh, article written by arvind lal now arvind lal writes the healthcare promise and arvind lal is the executive chairman of dr lal pat labs and chair fikki swasth bharat public health task uh, force now uh now this particular article is written that how the government or you know what should be the healthcare promises by the government why is it important and uh, uh, why concentrating on healthcare is important now of course it's written from the perspective ki election mein whenever a government comes ye ye hona chahiye but this particular articles give us not only you know facts related to uh, healthcare sector but also it gives us some uh, observation some uh, you know way forwards what should be done and therefore very important article for your uh, not only for your prelims or you know current affairs based uh, examination but also for your essay writing on healthcare system for your you know subjective uh, descriptive kind of answers now let's let's just quickly begin with the first paragraph as india prepares for the general election it's imperative to acknowledge healthcare as a vital investment for the nation's well being and prosperity despite its significance healthcare often takes a back seat in political discourse instead of view, viewing it as a burden on the exchequer we must recognize healthcare as a strategic investment very important strategic investment that yields invaluable returns in terms of human capital development economic growth and sustainable development तो इसको एज अ बर्डन नहीं लेना है कि हम हेल्थ पे इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तो इट्स अ बर्डन फॉर द गवर्नमेंट और फॉर द कंट्री बट वी मस्ट सी उसका लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट क्या है ऑन द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ऑन दू नो एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन ऑन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड सो ऑन तो द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ कॉन्टेक्स सेट कर लेता है एंड दैट इज हाउ इट शुड बी रिटर्न इवन वेन यू आर राइटिंग आंसर जस्ट लुक एट द स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग बाई दीज एक्सपर्ट नाउ प्लीज पे अटेंशन वेन इट सेज दैट you know there are certain problems and the problems first of all for example it says that there is a trust deficit between uh, the public and private you know healthcare systems and government needs to bridge that gap and in process of telling to bridge the gap it talks about a very important uh, yojana which is ayushman bharat uh, ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana and the program provides us as a rupees 5 lakh hospitalization cover for over 60 crore people with this transformative change the government uh, move from the role of provider 
to a payer. Very important line. Recognizing that providing healthcare services to 1.4 billion people is not a task that either the public or the private sector can achieve alone. More than 34 crore beneficiary cards have been distributed, over 27,000 hospitals have been empaneled and 6.5 crore hospitalizations have already been accounted for under the scheme. Now, very important point here is that even when so much is being done, there is a trust deficit and therefore there is a suggestion which is made that and these lines are again important to draw more participation from the private sector, reimbursement rates must be corrected and a differential pricing model should be implemented to differentiate hospitals based on their clinical excellence, accreditation, scale and investment in technology. So, you can tell the problem and the solution. This article is very unique and you should pay attention Because when you clear examination and you know you go to civil services or any other competitive exam ke through kisi services, mein, you need to be solution oriented so you should know problems and solutions now there are few things which it says about public health care center that 1.7 lakh health well centers are there health care well centers are there which are also known as ayushman aryogya mandir okay and there's also a mechanism to cover opd under health insurance but how is it going to help how it will help that is a major question similarly about NCDs, okay, uh, the non-communicable diseases which are more linked to the lifestyle like diabetes and all, they account for 65% of all mortalities in the country. But how can it be prevented and controlled? This is the answer here mentioned. Hai. Now, finally, what you must pay attention that the article suggests that it's important to prioritize health in the national budget. So right now it is like 2.5% of the GDP by 2025. This is the, you know, the target, but it should be increased. We also need to, to cover, uh, you know, this well, coverage uh, should expand. There should be a uh, address the, to, on the infrastructure gap, especially in tier two, two and tier three cities. Then uh, we need to invest more on healthcare force. Now this has its own advantage. It will uh, create a lot of jobs uh, and as estimated by this article, it's potential to add four crore jobs, which is a huge employment generation. And this in turn will contribute to the GDP also. And finally, there should be political will and commitment as the article mentioned. So very important article. It highlights the problems, but also gives us solutions. And that's why this kind of article is one of the must reads from the Indian Express. Now, my third and final pick is a very small Chotus article uh, in the Express Network page. It's purely factual, but you should know current affairs ke point of view. Say, our nazar aapki wahan pe focus ho ni chahiye, jaani chahiye. Army inducts indigenous Akashtid system. Now, the first and the last paragraph are very important. The army has started the induction on, of control and reporting system under Project Akash D. This project is important. You should know where it is in being used and what is it for. To bolster its air defense capabilities, sources said on Thursday, the deployment of the system began with flagging of the first batch of control centers from BEL Ghaziabad on Thursday. Now, coming to uh, the significant, the significant, uh, the project is aimed at significantly enhancing the operational efficiency and integration of the army's air defense mechanism. Okay, so ye ek important point ho gaya. and finally, the last paragraph, the source added that with 2024 designated as the year of tech absorption, please underline it. Induction of Akash Teed control system will meet the current and futuristic requirements of complex air defense operation. So, where is the use of this? What is the importance of this? You should know. Very important. This is a surprise question in your exams. That's all for today. I'll come up with the three must reads tomorrow again. Uh, please remember to write to me at manas.shivastav at indianexpress.com. Till then, think smart, work hard, conquer your goal. Bye-bye.